Mikel who gets the pass. He's got patrol. are looking live at the Tartan High School Gymnasium in Oakdale, Minnesota, as we bring you the back half of the lovely doubleheader between the number 12 in 4A North St. Paul Polars and number 13 in 4A, the Tartan Titans. Jeff Disher here with you from the Tartan Gymnasium as the players are being introduced alternately by the public address you see on your screen Shahid Muhammad, a 5.93 field goal percentage for the year for North St. Paul. As Tartan introduced, there you see Shahid Muhammad, 18.1 points per game over the 21 game season that he has played. Starters of, along with Muhammad, Laurent Thomas. Aaron Murphy, Sean West Zempel, and Brendan Lankford, who has 9.4 points per game and five starts. For Tartan, it'll be junior guard Dorian Singer paired with Joseph Kearney. Lay Keita is a forward. Langston Bins is a guard in the three guard system for Tartan. And Curtis Favors is a forward for Tartan. There you see Joseph Kearney. 13.8 points per game for Kearney. And we have Australian royalty in the house in Damian Johnson. He played in the Southeast Australian Basketball League and was a three-time champion from 2014 to 2016. You see Aaron Murphy in the circle. There is Damian Johnson, his third season with North St. Paul. The aforementioned Southeast Australian Basketball League champion. In the circle as well, Curtis Favors for Tartan. So it's Favors and it's Murphy. We are underway. North St. Paul wins the opening tap. And if we're going the Bill Raftery route, Tartan is playing a little. Wait a minute. Tom, or, uh, Lankford threw that one over cross court as Sean West Zimple threw it on, goes to Thomas. Thomas inside. He almost walked with it, but his shot goes begging, and here comes Tartan. Up from Singer, that shot from three would not go, but a foul first on Langston Bins. Thomas with his first. And Langston Bins shooting two. Bins 14.7 points per game. As the first one does not drop. Bins will get a second crack at it. And he doesn't get that one to drop either, but he gets a third try because that shot was from the three point, or three point range. So his third try is good. North St. Paul back up the floor. This is Lankford. Lankford waiting for reinforcements in the form of Muhammad. Lankford, dribble drive, throws it away. That pass intended for Laron Thomas. 
not very happy is Damian Johnson with that exchange. Here comes Dorian Singer for Tartan. Singer, dribble drive, back out to three point range and the foul stops play. Singer with the foul. Inbound from Laurent Thomas. Stepped on the line, did Lankford, and we'll go back the other way. Oh no. Foul called just before they got to the front court. Thomas to Lankford. Lankford calls the play. And he crosses the timeline. Lankford shimmies around one, puts up the shot, missed everything. We will actually keep it right here, though, as the ball will be inbounded by Shahid Muhammad. A 500 or a 50% free throw shooter, or three point shooter, excuse me. is Muhammad, 44.4% from the line. Murphy dropped it off to Thomas. Thomas threw that one over to Muhammad. Muhammad, dribble drive. That pass intercepted by Favors. Favors now works it ahead with a little help from Kearney. Kearney got it over to Benz. Benz dropped that off. Now a dribble drive for Tartan. Out of play it goes. It'll go to North St. Paul. Back underway we go. North St. Paul with possession on the far side of the floor. Muhammad dribbled up, but he worked his way back out. Muhammad into the lane. Teardrop wouldn't go. Rebound to Muhammad. Dropped it to Thomas and that wouldn't go. Rebound into a jump ball situation. Tartan wins that possession arrow. Tartan barely got it in before the five second count and Langston Binns advances it for Mark Klingsporn's boys. Klingsporn, by the way, a 1976 grad of Tartan as Tartan's number one, Dorian Singer, adds to the score. This season, the third consecutive year for Tartan having 20 victories plus, and we'll go the other way. Twenty-second consecutive year for Tartan with 20-plus victories in 2019-2020. As Singer works this ahead. Singer lost it. Foul first. Lankford with the foul. His first. North St. Paul's second foul of the night. Ball thrown into the lane, and North St. Paul comes up with it with Lankford. Two points for the Polars and Sean West Zimple. Here comes Tartan back up the floor. Singer. Outside. Favors. Got it. Curtis Favors showing that the man has stroke or has a stroke. Ball kicked, but it goes back out to Muhammad for three, air ball. Thrilling game so far in the first four minutes. That teardrop from Singer goes. Chain of air ball from the Tartan student section as Wes Zimple dropped that one off. 
Got it over to Thomas, and it goes down. Joseph Kearney worked it back, and now the ball stolen by North St. Paul. Muhammad fouled viciously, and they call it an offensive foul, I think. Replay of the foul. Ah, that's tight, but they call it an offensive foul. Shahid Muhammad will uh, sit down for a few minutes. As Tartan works their way up the floor. This is Kearney. Kearney dropped it over. Before the, the shot from Kearney, a travel. And North St. Paul with possession. Lankford. Lankford on his own, the teardrop wouldn't go. Ball loose to Murphy, that second shot wouldn't go. And a foul on the ball. Hickman, the foul, or the guilty party. The last time these two, two teams met was in January. North won that contest 69 to 56 on their home floor. Timeout, I believe, charged to North St. Paul. Let's step back a little bit. And I know we mentioned the last time these two teams met. Uh, let's go back to 2019 if we are able. And I can tell you with a little bit of, of help graphically that, right on cue, Back in March in the section quarterfinal, North, uh, Tartan defeated North 83 to 65. You go back to February of 19, Tartan won by 10 points in that contest. But in January of that year, Tartan extended that and won by 17. North's last win in the series came in March of 2018. North St. Paul will inbound with Langford. Langford got it over to Thomas. Thomas works his way back into the lane. Blocked. The block courtesy of Curtis Favors. Here comes Tartan. Up the floor they go. Ball stripped. We'll keep it right here. Tartan with the inbound on the far side from Dorian Singer. And he got it over to Langston Bins. Singer works his way around the floor, got it back over to Bins. Bins, triple drive, teardrop, wouldn't go. Rebound to Tartan. And now Kearney with a shot off iron. Rebound to Tartan, foul on Curtis Favors. Ron Thomas with his second personal. Favors makes the first. Curtis Favors, nine points per game. 21 games played. As substitutions occur for both sides. North entering the game with a 14 and seven record. Tartan with one loss on their campaign so far. 
North St. Paul with possession. That's Williams dropping it off. Eventually getting it to Muhammad. Muhammad sets the screen. Williams threw over to Hickman. Hickman for two. He rims out. Now here come the Titans. Dribbled off his foot, did Singer, but he maintains possession with a little help from his friend Curtis Favors. Singer and Favors switch positions as this one eventually gets to Bins. Bins working over, and now Bins walked. Into the game, Caleb Dowd for Tartan. Brendan Lankford will throw that one in. We're back underway. Lankford gets this one over to Hickman for three. And his shot from the parking lot would not go. Bins works this one into the lane from the free throw line, and it's good. Eleven and a half to play in the first half as this one goes to Muhammad. Muhammad got it over to Murphy. His shot would not go. Aaron Murphy's like, what do I have to do to put a shot home? Murphy will have two from the charity strike. Murphy, his first, rims out. Coming in is Sean West Zempel for North St. Paul. Murphy gets one more. And that rims out. Tartan with the 11 to four lead as Dorian Singer brings it up the floor. Singer looking for a teammate in the form of Caleb Dowd. He actually found Favors. Favors over to Dowd. Dowd, Favors, or Bins, excuse me. Over to the far side, there's Favors. Bins working his man over. Bins dropped off to Favors. Favors, check that. This goes to Singer. Singer. Singer, teardrop, wouldn't go. Here comes North St. Paul. Lankford. Dribbles out of trouble. Gets it over to Muhammad. Shahid Muhammad. Dribble drive into the lane and it drops. Tartan now slowing the game down with Langston Bins. Bins threw it out to Dowd for three, and it rims out. Up the floor comes North St. Paul's West Zimpel, and his shot would not go. Tartan ball. A.J. Burns enters, as does Joseph Kearney. Tartan with the ball and the fresh bodies. Jump ball opportunity goes to North St. Paul. Timeout to Tartan. Now, we mentioned Damian Johnson and his accomplishments. You see him in the, in the huddle there. While he played in Australia, he was a two-time Defensive Player of the Year back in 2015 and 2016. He also played four years at the University of Minnesota from 2006 to 2010, 
and was a Big Ten All-Defensive Team member in 2009. Mark Klingsport, on the other hand, 1976 graduate of Tartan. He's a 2016 Minnesota Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame inductee. Nine section championships to go with 10 conference titles and an overall record of 597 wins, 255 losses. We know because we did the math. Up the floor come the North St. Paul Polars. Lankford got the pass from Muhammad. Muhammad slowing the game down as we are just to the nine and a half minute mark. Williams inside, got it out. Murphy back over. Lankford for three, wouldn't go. Rebound on the deck and it goes to North St. Paul. This is Williams back outside. Wes Zimple's three point shot would not go. Tartan with the ball on the fast break. And in. Langston Bins. North St. Paul back up the floor we go. Handed off by Muhammad to Langford. Langford hands it off to Wes Zimple. His shot off the back iron. The iron, the iron unkind so far for North St. Paul. Down 13 to six with eight minutes and a half remaining. Tartan with possession. This is Bins inside, blocked by Aaron Murphy. But that block drew a whistle. AJ Burns to the line. Six point two points per game for Burns. He's a sophomore, and his first clanks out. Dorian Singer and Caleb Dowd back in. And Burns gets the back half of the pair. North St. Paul back up the floor. They're down 14 to six. Just over, just over halfway in the first half. And North St. Paul can't buy a bucket. The foul on favors his first. And Brendan Lankford will go to the line for a pair. He hits the first. Lankford second, good. Can Tartan answer? This is Dorian Singer calling the play as he steps up the floor. Across the timeline he goes. This dropped off to Dow. Dow, 5.7 points per game so far this year. Inside, that one came to Dow and it goes down. North St. Paul looking for an answer. This is West Zimple. West Zimple goes over to Lankford. Lankford sets the screen. Nifty move. Dallas Williams with the bucket. Down the floor comes Tartan back, or comes back. Do the, tar the Tartan Titans. Singer. Looking for a teammate, found one on the near wing, or the far wing, that's Burns. Now over, I think that was Dowd. Outside for three, got it. A.J. Burns with a triple. 
That man is confident in his stroke. Muhammad works it out to Murphy. Murphy goes over to Lankford. Lankford, far side. And now it goes to Muhammad for three. He got it. That rim did not even move. Sean West Zimple draws North St. Paul's seventh foul of the night. His first personal, but Tartan will shoot a one and one. Singer from the strike. Hopefully he'll sing a happy tune. Ah, I jinxed him. He gets the ball back inside, and that shot misses everything. Now North St. Paul comes up the floor. Muhammad dropped it off. Steps, yes. Joseph Kearney frustrated. And Tartan comes back up the floor. Kearney throws it on to Langston Bins. Over into the corner, this is A.J. Burns. Bins for three. He got it. Twenty-two to thirteen, under six left to play in the first half. Shaheed Muhammad for a deuce to answer. Now up the floor come the Titans. Offensive foul will go the other way. Langston Bins given credit for the foul. Here comes North St. Paul. Muhammad inside. Wooden goat, just a touch weak. Here comes Tartan. This is Kearney. Kearney threw, threw that on to who I believe is Evan Meskill. It goes over to Burns who threw it back outside the uh, three-point arc. Over to the far side. Now Singer inside, got through two, got the bucket, and one more. Twenty-four to fifteen, our score with one more at the line for Singer. Five minutes and a nickel remaining in the first half, and Singer does me right. Twenty-five to fifteen, North St. Paul up the floor. This one goes over to West Zimple. West Zimple got Muhammad. Shahid Muhammad for three from the parking lot, and that wouldn't go. Now Tartan with possession. From the corner, Burns could not get that three pointer to drop. Thomas had Muhammad with him. Jump. Ball. Tartan with possession. Now that ball thrown in to Joseph Kearney, who works it up the floor. Kearney. Pursued by Muhammad as he crosses the timeline. Kearney found Bins. Bins dropped it over to A.J. Burns. 
and he could not put that one in the bucket, much to his dismay. Murphy with the foul, his second of the night. AJ Burns at the strike. Misses his first off the front iron. Marco Vukumanovic in the game for Tartan. As Burns hits the second. North St. Paul back up the floor. Lankford goes over to Teagland. Teagland dropped that to Muhammad. Teardrop wouldn't go. Tartan back up the floor. Singer from the paint into the corner. Thinking about the shot was Burns. He's contested. Ball floating like a pinball. Here comes North St. Paul. This is Thomas. Nifty move and it goes. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Bur or Bins through two. That shot will go down. Langford got it over to Thomas and the shot wouldn't go. Now Tartan working it up the floor. Three minutes and change remaining in the first half. So in comes back over to Burns. Burns debated the shot for a split second as it goes to Bins. Langston Bins throws it over far side. Now Tartan slowing things down. Player dropped to a knee, but Tartan maintains possession with Dorian Singer. Singer worked around one. Oh, that would not drop as he was going to his knees. Mohammed on the reject or on the uh, ricochet as his shot is rejected. Unable to track that down were the Tartan Titans. And with 2.20 remaining in the half, Brendan Lankford sacrificing himself for the betterment of everybody. And I believe, I didn't see the, the end of the play, but I believe he landed on his head. I'm gonna have to see that again when we get a second. But the foul called on Actually, there was no foul call on the call on the play. It looked like, but Brendan Lankford is the man down for North St. Paul. As you see the the Metro East Conference standings, these two teams are top of the table. North St. Paul, a perfect 11 and 0 in conference play. Tartan with one loss. That one loss came on their overall record here in conference play, so that's why you see Tartan with a 20 and one record. North St. Paul has all seven of their losses outside of the, or outside of the conference. Hastings, Manamidi, and South St. Paul all in it at the top of the table. Simley, St. Thomas, Henry Sibley, and Hill Murray round out the conference. As you see Mark Klingsporn there, we mentioned earlier, or actually we're gonna go to a replay of this last play. You'd assume, and it was Singer who went to the deck and he could not get the bucket to go despite diving for it and putting a little body English on it. Brendan Lankford still down. And he has now just returned to his feet. And he is favoring that left foot. As he didn't want to put any pressure on it, I would not either.
So let's reset for you. 2.20 left to go in the first half. And it is Tartan with the 28 to 17 lead. As North St. Paul's LaRon Thomas gets set to inbound. And we are back to action as this one is dropped over to Dallas Williams. Late, or Thomas goes to West Zimple. His drive wouldn't go. Picks up the rebound. And now Thomas from outside. In and out. Teaglin with the rebound. Foul called. With two minutes and a penny left to go in the first half. Langston Bins, his second foul of the night. Dowd in for Tartan. As North St. Paulo throw in under the basket. Muhammad thought about the three point shot for a second as that one's dropped off by Wes Zimple. Got it over to Williams. Williams inside, circus shot up over the backboard. And the home folk letting him know. One forty-seven to play in the first half as this one is inbounded to Caleb Dowd. Up the floor comes Tartan, Singer, Threw that one over, and he got it to Kearney. Kearney, cross court, favors to Vukamanovic. Singer. Singer works it back out towards the center line. Whistle, steps, or double dribble, excuse me. North St. Paul brings it the other way. Muhammad looking cross court and he finds Thomas. Thomas goes to West Zimple. West Zimple now goes over to Teagland and Teagland throws it away and into the possession of the Tartan Titans with a buck and a, and a penny left to go in the first half. Tartan brings it back up the floor. Singer got across the timeline. Singer looking for a teammate, and he picks up his own. I don't know what that was. Singer drew contact, but it was not contact that he wanted to draw. Offensive foul, 44 and a half. Vukumanovic actually called for the foul off the ball. Stepping in is DeMarco Celli. And now North St. Paul picks up possession. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Williams looking. Finds Thomas. Thomas looking for a teammate. He's got Wes Zimple if he wants him. Thomas dribbles into the lane. Foul before the shot, basket will not count. Although that was a nice teardrop. Joseph Kearney with the foul. And so, Laron Thomas will shoot a deuce. Thomas with the first one, rimming out, and it was a one and one for Thomas. So final 17 seconds of the half, as this one is worked up court by Kearney. Kearney dribbled into the lane, but he found Shelly. Shelly to Kearney, final five seconds of the period. Kearney off the back iron, and that'll do it for the first half. Hey. 
At halftime, it is the Tartan Titans with a 28 to 17 lead. As the players step off the floor, we will have halftime activities coming up. This is High School Basketball on SCC Sports. Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Crooked teeth may embarrass kids whose families can't afford braces. And trying to fix their teeth themselves can make things worse. Luckily, there's Donated Orthodontic Services, a program from the American Association of Orthodontists. For children and teens who qualify and are matched with a volunteer orthodontist, treatment can be life-changing and help them smile with confidence. Learn more at aaoinfo.org. My husband is a wonderful man. He's a great father, funny and loving when he's not drinking. When he drinks, he becomes a complete stranger, angry and mean, not the man I fell in love with. I've become really good at pretending everything's okay for the kids' sake, but it's taking a toll on me. I'm so angry that my husband chooses alcohol over us. If he really loved us, he'd stop drinking, right? My counselor suggested I try Al-Anon family groups. At first, I didn't understand why she wanted me to go. I'm not the one with the problem, but I'm glad I went. I heard people's stories, and they sound exactly like mine. I knew I was in the right place. Do you worry about how much someone drinks? You are not alone. Al-Anon or Alateen can help. For more information, call 1-866-200-0033 or visit alanon.org slash hope. Drownings are the number one cause of accidental death for young children. Simple safety steps are the best way to prevent these tragedies. Make sure kids learn how to swim. Designate an adult water watcher to watch kids in and around water. Save the phone calls and texts for when the kids are out of the water. Properly fence all pools with fences at least four feet high and with self-closing, self-latching gates. When above ground pools aren't in use, remove the ladders. When pools aren't in use, cover them. Teach kids to stay away from drains. And if a child is missing, check the pool or spa first. Consider the steps you take, then add a few more, because you never know which pool safety step will save a life. Until it does, simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit poolsafely.gov. Back. From Tartan Arena here on the campus of Tartan High School as halftime in the boys varsity matchup between Tartan and North St. Paul is well underway. Tartan with a 28 to 17 lead after one half of play. Uh, and that is good if you're a Tartan Titan with one lost year record so far in 2019, 2020. 
North St. Paul, a bit more work to do, but plenty of time to do it. Let's review the first half in visual form. As you see a three point shot there from Curtis Favors for Tartan to start off the package. Laron Thomas with a, a nifty move for a, a bucket. And Langston Bins among others throwing caution to the wind and getting points. There's a three point shot from the corner for AJ Burns. And a three point shot for Shahid Mohammed. They're coming hot and fast now. Laron Thomas drops in for a drops a uh, bucket. And we have speaking of the North St. Paul Polars, we have a, a college commitment to tell you or a letter of intent to tell you about. Senior guard Dallas Williams signed his letter of, a, of intent uh, earlier this week. Uh, he's the senior guard for North St. Paul. And he signed with the uh, Minnesota West Community Technical College. They are the Blue Jays because everyone has to do what Toronto does. And so congratulations to Dallas. And uh, here is hoping that he has a stellar college career. 3.9 points per game on the season for Dallas so far for North St. Paul. But uh, we wanted to touch on that before we got too far into this broadcast. Glad we did. And so you see a North St. Paul Polar being taped up to begin the second half. Believe that is Lank Brendan Langford who went down awkwardly uh, late in the first half and he was attended to right away. Uh, scary play, but uh, here is hoping that Lankford makes his return. And so we're, we are hoping for the best for Brendan Lankford. Let's take a timeout. We will have the second half for you coming up. And high school basketball is yours tonight, courtesy of SCC Sports. Chiru has no choice. She and millions like her must walk miles every day for dirty water. But together, we can end their walk by providing clean water close by. Instead of spending hours walking to get water that makes them sick, girls can be in a classroom that expands their minds, and moms will gain back time to care for their families. Sons and daughters can grow up strong, finally free of sicknesses caused by dirty water. At World Vision, care about clean water runs deep. Deep enough to reach one new person with clean water every 10 seconds. Because every child, every person, everywhere deserves clean water and the chance to rise to their full potential. It's true, when you just add water, you change a life. Learn more at worldvision.org. The skills you can develop in the Army National Guard can give you an edge in the high-tech job market of tomorrow. The Guard offers career training to take advantage of your interests in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Gain practical experience with emerging technology and equipment that you can transfer to an exciting new field. Get a head start on your career while serving part-time and earning money to pay for college. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about all of the STEM career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. I had to pack up all my things. I had to leave my home. And I never knew where I was going next. It felt like I never even had a say. But then you came along. Change a child's story. There's a child in foster care waiting for a volunteer like you. 
how you can help at casaforchildren.org. Do you know what constitutes our Constitution? This living document that's a fusion of our forefathers' vision for the future of this nation? We have a Bill of Rights. We're not built for these rights, but we've been given these rights because we live. We don't have to pay every day when we don't watch what we say. A penny for our thoughts is not what we give, but we give off our thoughts by the way that we live. And there are soldiers who've died, men and women who've paid the price, in the blink of an eye given their lives to make our lives nice. And we can't fight to preserve these rights, to reach new heights, get through the darkest nights together if we don't know. We the people, we the future, can't make it right if we don't show an interest in learning the script that governs our lives. So forgive me if I'm wrong, but if you belong to this country, then there are rights that belong to you so long as you do one thing. You know your constitution and your freedom that it brings. You can't fight for what's right. You can't find a flaw if you've never shed light on the supreme law of the land. The land of the free and the home of the brave requires your knowledge and God's good grace in order to save our human race in the face of terror. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you need to choose what you're going to do because you could lose everything. Back for the second half of play, featuring Tartan and North St. Paul in the boys' half of a lovely doubleheader, or at least that's what we're referencing it as. As the players are back on the floor, ready for the second half of play, North St. Paul will inbound with Leron Thomas doing the honors. Jeff Disher with you, by the way. Dallas Williams, who we talked about at the half on screen there. A college commit. Congrats, Dallas. Underway we are. Shahid Muhammad dribbles dribbles this one up for North St. Paul. And he tosses one inside to Brandon Hickman. But the shot from Aaron Murphy would not go the first time. He gets the second effort. And he has a three-point play potentially to work with. Four point three points a game for Aaron Murphy. And that's the second jinx on the night tonight as far as the three point play goes. Tartan back up the floor. Aaron Murphy with a block. Muhammad up the floor for North St. Paul. Three ball goes down. Brandon Hickman with the three point shot as North St. Paul transitioning into a press. Here comes Tartan back up the floor. That for three, no, off the front rim. This will go to Favors. And he gets the two point basket. Timeout called. And it is 30 to 22 in the early stages of half number two. Let's take a look at these two teams. Tartan with a 10-0 record here at home. They allow 51, they score 68. Their only loss on the year was against these North St. Paul Polars. And for the North Polars, their record on the road is six and three. They're scoring five more points than they allow, and they are currently on a 13-game winning streak but with the way we've been with Jinxes so far tonight, ee, just saying, I can take responsibility for two of them. North St. Paul brings it back into play and we're back underway. <laughs> Brought up by Muhammad. Thomas inside, it wouldn't go. Thomas with the second effort, and that one goes. And now Tartan looking to work their way back up the floor. Kearney down low, flip back to Kearney. Singer with him. Kearney to Singer. Like I know what I'm talking about, Singer. Back over, got it to Bins. Singer for three, no. Rebound picked up by Bins. And Bins out of play, North St. Paul, no. It was tip, hold on, the officials are gonna talk about it. One official said the ball was tipped, 
by North St. Paul on the way out. We're gonna keep it here. Inbounding is Kearney. Back underway we go. Washington, or uh, check that singer. Got it over to Burns. Burns looking for reinforcements. Nifty move. Goes to Singer. Across the floor to Bins. Bins spins out a one. Got through two, and the teardrop or the floater wouldn't go. Up the floor come the Polars. That's Muhammad. Three ball goes down. And now a troubling pass from Joseph Kearney. I liken that pass back up the baseline to something a hockey goaltender would do, which would be to throw it back up the middle of the rink, which you're not, not going to do, as opposed to throwing it in a corner. All told, that was a bad decision by Kearney just there. North St. Paul with possession. This is Hickman. Dropped it over to Muhammad. Muhammad wants the three. He will not take it. Thomas looking, driving. Thomas, no. Kearney now evades one man, and he crosses the timeline. Now Kearney. Kearney over to Favors. Kearney for three. No. Rebound picked up by Muhammad. Here comes North St. Paul. In the corner. No. Picked up by Favors on the defensive board. 30 to 27 with under a football quarter remaining in duration. Ball thrown inside. Loose on the deck for a moment as that one is found by Singer. Singer, nice move to get open, and he can't drop the three. Air ball for Singer. And the North St. Paul crowd letting him have it. Muhammad. Up the floor, whistle. Don't know what for. Apparently the Tartan Titans wanted a sub. Thomas to throw the ball in and we're back underway. Muhammad shimmies off one man twice. Muhammad. Now in trouble, and it's a backcourt violation. Think about this. Wouldn't you want it? Wouldn't you want to force the kick ball in that situation instead of risking a backcourt violation? Something to think about in that instance if you are trapped. Loose ball picked up by Singer. Blocked, rebound Kearney. Kearney back outside for three. Air ball. Langston Bins with the air ball. Now in the corner. This is West Zimple. Foul. Kearney with the foul, his third. And I would expect Kearney to be subbed out in a moment because he is drifting into the temporal waters of foul trouble. But Kearney is staying in. He would probably have to sit the rest of the game if he had one more foul in my estimation as that shot will not go. Rebound to West Zimple. West Zimple works his way ahead into the lane. Teardrop wouldn't go. Rebound 
to Tartan, out of play, where is it? We'll keep it here. Now the officials are talking about it, and we'll go the other way. The initial call was Tartan basketball on the far side. Timeout, North St. Paul. And there you see Mark Klingsporn in that huddle for Tartan. And you see the Minnesota Basketball News rankings in Class 4A now. As of a week ago, Eden Prairie number one in class, followed by Eastview, Creighton, Durham Hall, Shakopee, and Hopkins all giving chase. These two teams are 12 and 13 on the second half, or the uh, second side of that graphic. Tartan with the one loss, and North St. Paul 12 and seven on the year so far from when those rankings were taken. Robbinsdale Armstrong, little hometown pride, 13 and three on the year they're sitting eighth in class 4A. You know I had to. Good to see Armstrong doing well though. That, somewhere in that huddle is Damian Johnson. This has been an impressively played game by these two squads. I'm impressed. North St. Paul re-enters with that pass from Thomas to Mohammed. 13 and three nickels left to play. Mohammed. Up and through, air ball, as Tartan looks to work it ahead. Shifting over to Singer. Singer, waiting for a teammate, he found one in A.J. Burns. Kearney, dropped it over to Singer. And now Singer gets it back. Singer from the parking lot, it wouldn't go. Rebound, Tartan, and it goes down. Back up the floor come the North St. Paul Polars. Quick shot by Hickman, off the back iron. Rebound goes to A.J. Burns. Now up comes Singer. That pass. Reeled in by Kearney. Kearney from the parking lot, and it wouldn't go. Actually, that may have been from home ec. That shot from the parking lot, and it goes as a three for Shaheed Muhammad. That man's got touch. Stolen by Muhammad. Fast break, and he puts two more down. North St. Paul with a 33-32 lead. I believe, and I may, might stand corrected on this, but this is their first lead of the game. Whistle, tie up I thought. Foul called. And now Tartan with possession on this side of the floor. Thrown in by Burns, or Bins, and that shot blocked from Singer. Singer puts one home. Says anything you can do, we can do better. That foul halts play with 11.24 to go. Kearney with the or is the guilty party. <laughs> Mohammed now works it up the floor. Mohammed now dribble drive off his feet and it wouldn't go, but he traveled.
the tartan student section with a little, you can't do that, I like it. I have to admit that. Bins with possession, goes over to Singer, no. And now North St. Paul with a nifty pass from Thomas, getting it over to Mohammed. Mohammed. West Zimple tracked it down. Thomas over to Hickman. Hickman thought about a three. He puts it up. It won't go. Rebound to Tartan, who have the slim one point edge. That shot goes down. And one on a push off. Second personal foul this half for North St. Paul. Dallas Williams credited with his fourth foul. No, check that. Aaron Murphy with his third foul of the night. And so that will give Dorian Singer a chance. Not sure what the call was. And Tartan not happy. So back underway we go, no free throw. And North St. Paul with possession. Inside, steps. As that three ball goes for Muhammad, but it is for not. Worked ahead by Singer, out of bounds. And we'll go the other way. Thirty-six, thirty-three. our score to Tartan. These teams last played in January. North won that matchup by 13. Ball dropped off to West Zimple. Now to Muhammad, to Thomas. Thomas, leaner, no. Ball tipped around near Muhammad, got it back out to Williams, and a whistle. Tartan looks to work their way back in. And now Singer up into the front court. Singer has reinforcements in the form of Dowd. Ball stolen and was not a backcourt violation as that goes to Thomas who couldn't put it in, but he does a second time. North St. Paul to within one. And now Tartan looking to work their way free. They can't. And North St. Paul with possession on this side of the floor. That, my friends, is what a full court press will get you in a close game such as this one. I would expect North St. Paul to keep that full court press alive. A three ball from Shaheed Muhammad. And North St. Paul back into the lead. Now they're leaning off the press a little bit. Tartan across the timeline. This is Singer. Vukumanovic. Vukumanovic goes over to Bins. Bins threw that one to Singer. Singer, Vukumanovic. Now he got it to Singer. Singer in the lane, lost possession. But Tartan keeps the ball. Eight and a half to go. Timeout. North St. Paul. Full timeout North. It is a full timeout called by North.
And this season, we mentioned it, the 22nd consecutive year for Tartan with 20 or more wins. That is simply impressive, especially on the bench of Mark Klingsporn. That man is a Hall of Fame inductee, at least as far as the Minnesota Basketball Co Coaches Association is concerned. Tartan's upcoming schedule will see them face Simley right in this building, and they also face South St. Paul on February 21st. They have a matchup against Hastings in Hastings on the 24th, and they're back here against Matamidi on February 28th. Eight and a half to go, two point game. And Tartan will inbound the ball. That's Singer on the inbound. Got it to the backcourt where he finds Shelly. Shelly threw it over to Bins. Bins looks, found a teammate. And Bins threw that one cross court to Shelly who kept it alive. And now Curtis Favors will settle it down. No shot clock in high school basketball in Minnesota. Unless you get a week notice. So these teams can take as long as they'd like. That ball thrown inside by Bins and it would not work. So that gives North St. Paul the ball. Actually, no, it deflects off a of polar. So Tartan keeps possession. And I believe the deflect the deflectee was Dallas Williams. Now Favors dropped it over to Bins. Bins working in the lane, got separation, and he got two points. Up the floor, that outlet feed, stolen ball on the deck, now Tartan with possession. This is Singer, inside, wouldn't go. Rebound to the Titans, foul call. Saheed Muhammad called for the foul. And two shots on the way for the Tartan Titans. After a bit of a towel job. Here we go. A lot of perspiration in the lane as expected as this game has been a war inside. First shot up and it would not go. Vukumanovic coming back in. And Tartan gets one more crack at it. And the Titans miss both. So they're 77.4% from the, the free throw stripe on the season. And that's as a team. Brought ahead by Williams for North St. Paul. Whistle goes, jump ball, and it goes to Tartan. As the bodies fly, what did I mention earlier about seeing a, a basketball game and a hockey game broke out? Inbounds play here for Tartan. Shelly will do the honors. It goes to Singer. Singer got through two, blocked, and now stolen by Dallas Williams. Williams with the outlet feed to Wes Zempel and will stay right here. Yeah. 
Here's a replay of the outlet feed as it was off Tartan on the nifty strip. Back to play, and here come the Titans. Under seven minutes to play as this one is found by Favors. It goes to Singer inside. And now back out to Chelly. Chelly found Favors. And he also has Chelly there with him too. Chelly dropped it over. And now Vukumanovic inside. And that ball came out to Vukumanovic. And he's too strong for the deuce. Ball on the ground and North St. Paul with the ball. Substitutions for both teams with 6.17 to play. And here come the Polars back across the timeline. Williams throws it on. He got it to Hickman. Hickman down low. Hickman dropped it off. Three ball. No. Tartan with the rebound. That is Joseph Kearney. And now Bins looking for separation. And no foul, no sh or nothing doing on the shot either. As North St. Paul, nothing doing on their possession. Where are we headed? We're staying right here. Five and a half to go. 38 all, the foul called on Tartan, giving Hickman the first of two. Twelve points a game for Brandon Hickman. And he misses the back half. One point game, five and a half to play. And now Tartan slowing things down. Dorian Singer with possession. Singer, whistle. Foul on the baseline off the ball. Sean West Zimple, the guilty polar, his third. Four fouls each in the second half. And now Tartan with possession. This is Bins. Dribble drive inside, wouldn't go. Rebound to North St. Paul. And now Shahid Mohammed comes forward. Mohammed into the lane. Shot from the corner. It goes down. Sean West simple from the near corner. Bins. As Tartan plays with a four point deficit. Now the ball thrown inside, out of bounds. We'll stay here. 4.38 to play. And Tartan barely got that in. Bins off the back iron. Here comes North St. Paul. One on two. And North St. Paul extends the lead. That was Sean West Zimple, who has scored the last five points for North St. Paul. Now the ball thrown on to Kearney. Now Tartan has to pick up the pace. Four and a quarter remaining, as this one is found by Kearney for three. He got it! 44-41. North St. Paul back up the floor. Whistle, off the ball, foul. And I believe
believe it's a hold down low if I saw that signal correctly. So North St. Paulo inbounded at the side near the Tartan bench. And now North St. Paul Circus move, not gonna go for Shahid Muhammad. As I believe he will shoot a pair. Six fouls now for Tartan as that one is called on Curtis Favors, his second personal. And Muhammad's first shot rims out. And his second one goes in. 45-41 North St. Paul. Three minutes and 45 seconds to play. Tartan needs to hurry though, as this is Singer. He'll drop that over. And now Kearney, back down low. He found Meskill. Singer works this one on. Singer, back down low. He couldn't get the teardrop to, to, to go. Rebound will work. Forty-five, forty-three. North St. Paul slowing things down. As Williams trying to find space. Thomas looking to draw his man out. Thomas. Looks for a cross-court pass, and that three-point attempt would not drop. Would have given North St. Paul a five-point lead. Time now still sort of on the side of the Tartan Titans, as this one is found by Kearney. And now the ball stolen by Muhammad. Got it, and one. Four-point game. Shahid Muhammad at the line, a 444 three-point or er, free throw shooter. As Muhammad goes up, knowing he has numbers, and he just drops one right down low in the paint. Three-point play opportunity for Shahid Muhammad. Caleb Dowd into the game for Tartan. And now Muhammad gets a chance to complete the three point play. Muhammad did just that. Five point lead for North St. Paul. Tartan now has to go to work. It's a two possession game. As Bins will come up. Favors. Favors got it to Bins. Bins steps once, twice. Can't find any room in the lane to work with. This is Dowd. Dowd back down low. And now Dowd gets it again. Dowd over to Favors. Into the lane, teardrop would not work. And I believe an offensive foul was called. 154 to go. Five point game. Favors with the foul called against him. His fifth, he'll be sitting for a good while. Muhammad, Dipsy Doos into the lane. Teardrop would not drop. Now Tartan looking to come back up real quick. Three point shot wouldn't go off the back iron. Found by Singer. Singer advances that one to Favors. Favors outside, Dowd wouldn't go, got the foul call. 
Sean West Zimpel with his fourth foul of the night. And Dowd will shoot. The first one and he airballed it. And now Dowd, 5.7 points a game for him. Dowd with his second opportunity. It doesn't go. 85 seconds to go. As North St. Paul drawing two Tartan Titans to one man. Thomas back over into the corner. Now Mohammed throws that one on. Whistle. And a timeout for Tartan with a buck 12 left to go. And this is a full timeout for the Titans. North St. Paul, by, or a uh, minute 12 away from their 15th win of the year. And a perfect conference record. Substitutions for both teams happening. And we'll have an inbounds play on the end line. No, it'll be on the, on the side of the court near the Tartan bench. Inbounding is Thomas, and he found Hickman. Whistle, travel. Hickman, I believe, took the steps. Here comes Tartan. Five point game with a buck and a few left in the in the bank. Pass inside, stolen by the Polars. And you would expect Tartan to start fouling now as we're under a minute to play. Wes Zimple for three off the back iron. Hickman back outside. Foul. 51 seconds to go. Singer with the foul his second of the night. And Muhammad could almost put this game on ice. It would be a three possession game if he did, or a two possession game if he did. That would be two three point buckets. For Tartan if this one goes. Muhammad couldn't get that one to drop. Now Tartan has to hurry. Quick shot from three. Got it! Langston Bins says here, let me put the cape on. Let me shoot the three. Let me throw one down. 48, 46, 43 and a half left to go. That's why free throws are important, everybody. Here's Bins from out on the other side of the building, and he drops it. See the North St. Paul bench with Damian Johnson talking about it. 
as you see the North upcoming schedule. They play Matamidi on Tuesday night at North, and then they're away from North High School for three straight basketball games from next Friday to the well, to the following Friday against St. Er, Thomas Academy, Simley, and Hastings. Inbounds play here for North St. Paul, 43 and a half to go. Muhammad got out of trouble, foul. 39.7 seconds to go. Now with that three point shot, as Bins with the foul, Muhammad has to make three, or has to make these. Because Langston Bins has proven that he will burn North St. Paul from the strike. Muhammad made the first. Now, what if Muhammad doesn't make this? Brick, third time tonight. <laughs> and now Tartan with a chance to tie if they go for a Langston Bins three. Aaron Murphy back in for North St. Paul. 38.6 seconds to go in regulation. 49-46 our score as Caleb Dowd sits down. North St. Paul's not gonna foul. Bins, you've got the ball in the right man's hand for three, off the front iron, the rebound wouldn't go. Loose ball to North St. Paul and Tartan with the foul. You put the ball in the right man's hands, but there's 22 seconds to play. And now side out Thomas with the with the throw in and a foul. 20 seconds to go. Dowd with the foul. Thought I heard. And now North St. Paul gets a chance to almost effectively put the game on ice, you'd think. Hickman to the line and he hits. One and one opportunity for Hickman as a 70% free throw shooter. Puts North St. Paul up four. Now he can put them up two possess or uh, a full two possessions, and he doesn't do it. Tartan with possession, up the floor, foul on Hickman. Sixth foul for North St. Paul. That leads to a throw in. Bins gets it back, and that's the guy you want. Bins for three. He missed it. Final seven seconds. Loose ball, jump ball. Tartan with possession. Thrilling game. right to the very end. Tartan with a timeout. And now what do you do if you are the Titans? You're down four with four and a half seconds to go. You've put the ball in Langston Bins' hands twice, and he's one, uh, one for two in those instances. That three from early or moments ago brought Tartan back into the game. But Tartan in it until the very end, or to the very end. And 
And now all the Titans can do is foul and hope. As Tartan throws that ball into play, they get the ball back with 3.2 to go. Inbounding is Singer. Singer throws it in. Got it to Benz, and his shot is short, but that'll do it. The North St. Paul Titan, the North St. Paul Polars defeat the Tartan Titans in both games this year. Tonight by a count of 50 to 46. Impressive from both schools as the Polars go to four, or 15 and seven, 12 and 0 in, in the Metro East. Tartan will fall to 20 and two, 10 and two in the Metro East as well. Well, been a fun night. Enjoyed it and hope you did too. As you see the, the teams shaking hands, been a good one, as I said. North St. Paul defeats Tartan by a count of 50 to 46. For everybody that's been a part of this one, Jeff Disher saying so long from the Tartan High School Gymnasium where the Polars are the strong men this evening. <laughs>